the Deputy Speaker. I beg to... Theresa May. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Having been Home Secretary for six years, I understand the pressures to deal with illegal migration and finds their way to the UK, but illegally. Examples have been given, but a young woman... Thank you. The eyes to the right, 312. The nose to the left, 250. So the eyes have it, the eyes have it. Unlock. Since 2018, some 85,000 people illegally entered the United Kingdom by small boat, 45,000 of them last year alone. They have overwhelmed our asylum system. The reality is, Mr Deputy Speaker, is that this system is simply unfair. It's unfair on the most vulnerable. It's unfair on those who play by the rules. It's unfair on the British people. So we must change the law and we must stop the boats. The UK has always welcomed those who are fleeing persecution, regardless of whether they come through a safe and legal route. By definition, someone fleeing for their life will more often than not be unable to access a legal route. I don't think it's enough to say we will meet our requirements by sending people to claim asylum in Rwanda. And this matters because of the reputation of the UK on the world stage. It's frightening that we are at the second stage of a bill that begins with an effective admission by the Home Secretary that the... The message from the UK government to the criminal trafficking and slavery gangs is this. Don't worry. So long as you bring people into the country illegally, we won't help them. In fact, we will help you. That is their message to the criminal gangs. We will help you. We will threaten those people with immediate detention and deportation so that you can increase your control over those trafficking victims. This bill is a trafficker's charter. Modern day slavery? Collect the detention capabilities and the assurance that no one will be able to abscond. The, the previous British Prime Minister, but three, promised to end it, and I respect the work that she did. But this one, the current one, wants to enable it. How low have the Tory party fallen? And it is even worse for children. This bill allows the Home Secretary to lock them up indefinitely, safeguards all removed. It allows her to remove unaccompanied children without even considering the details of their case and whether they have fled from persecution. And once they hit 18, it requires her to remove them, even if the only family or support that they have in the entire world are here in the UK, and even if they have been exploited and abused by criminal gangs. And it denies them any protection from modern slavery. It makes them forever illegal in the UK. member of that person, to talk about holding the child accountable for the sins of the father, the supplies, I understand, even if the child was... Tory party once voted to introduce safeguards on the detention of children, and they were right to do so. The Tory party once voted to introduce the Modern Slavery Bill, and they were right to do so. But what has happened to them now? How low have they fallen, and how far down are they trying to drag our proud country? Because that is what this is. It is an attempt to drag our whole country down. They know this bill won't work to stop boat crossings or to stop the gangs. They know it won't clear the back. They know it will make the chaos worse. They know it will stop children and trafficking gangs getting help and play into the hands of criminal gangs. And they know it will undermine our reputation in the eyes of the world as a country that believes in the rule of law. But they don't care. Because this is about political gains. This is about a lame Prime Minister making promises that he has no intention of keeping. All he wants is a dividing line. All he wants is to pick a fight. And all he wants is someone else to blame. And he doesn't care if our international reputation or some very vulnerable people pay the price. Mr Deputy Speaker, I do recognise that there are... In past eras, there has been consensus, for example, on support for Syrian refugees, go back generations on support for the kinder transport. There has been that support in place. We've also had past consensus about the kind of practical, sensible measures around border security as well. I believe it should be possible to build that consensus, and we would work 
with the government to do that. But that is not what we are getting from the Conservative Party, the Conservative Government, the Prime Minister and the Home Secretary. Instead, we have got a Home Secretary who is quite happy to ramp up the rhetoric rather than ever build a calm consensus around a practical plan that sorts things out. And how desperate does it become if what you're doing is ramping up hostility and hatred towards the victims of trafficking and slavery? That is not leadership. Britain is better than this. Yes. Legislation. No good passing this legislation unless we do those other operational things. And uh, just to, uh, in perhaps I welcome the new deal which has been done with France because it will have an impact. But what should be clear from this is that whenever you close a route for migrants, and whenever you close a route, the migrants and the people smugglers find another way. And anybody who thinks that this bill will deal with the issue of illegal migration once and for all is wrong. Not least because a significant number, if not the majority of people who are here illegally don't come on small boats, they come legally and overstay their visas. It's an unaccompanied child. An unaccompanied child. Do unto others as they would have. And I must say there has been some loose talk about people smuggling and human trafficking and losing the two terms in the same breath as if they're the same. They're not. They're two separate crimes. Someone paying their own money to be smuggled across the border is not a victim of human trafficking, which includes coercion, exploitation. Nobody wants to see our world-leading legislation being abused, but the government has to set out the clear evidence if they are saying there is a link between that and the small boats. And so far, I have not seen that evidence. Andrew it shames those in this house who have gone before us. This anti-refugee bill, Mr Speaker, must be voted down. It's inhumane, immoral, and if I was a better man, illegal.